Hello, I'm Devagant, and I'm going to review the N900 CSS2 Community Seamless Software Update as of May 2012. I'm going to tell you guys what I installed, the features I got, the problems I found, and how I generally think of it. So this is your common N900, and what I installed was the CSS2 themselves, the latest stable version, then I updated it. So I ended up getting version 21.2001.38/1s main tree. Then I installed a custom Hilden desktop, which allows me to lock on portrait mode a CSS2 features app, which lets me configure most of the um, the things CSS2 works around, and an orientation lock applet, which lets me which lets me lock either on landscape or on portrait mode. I also installed the fast SMS virtual keyboard which I think is a very nice virtual keyboard to use with portrait since it lets me use an American keyboard. Well, the features of CSSU are quite simple so far. Um, simple and impressive. The only one I don't, I don't have because I installed the latest stable and not the sharpening edge testing one is the camera UI improvements, which are basically keyboard shortcuts for various options on the menu. For example, you're on your camera, and if you press A, you automatically go to Auto. Um, other feature uh, is the 9 desktops, which personally I feel like it's just too much. But as long as you configure it to your liking, you don't actually need to use them. And um, as of some general tweaks, the, version, the, the feature everyone wanted since the beginning was portrait mode, which is this beauty you guys are seeing here. The N900 actually gets really pretty and it works very very well on portrait. As, as of the general release, it gets off the menus, the desktops it lets you rotate the desktops horizontally or vertically if you configure it on the features tool menus and you can configure it to force any app to portrait mode as of I did for example my conversations applet um, forces is forced to portrait um, you, by default it auto rotates all true you can only auto rotate to, to standards as obviously um, but I used the, the orientation lock applet to lock it as of landscape if you want, so it doesn't rotate the portrait, or you can do it the other way around and lock it on portrait, which is actually quite helpful. The thing, my bad. The thing with locking with portrait is if you actually need some app to work on landscape, you just need to open the keyboard and it will instantly go to landscape, no matter what you're doing. Uh, well, the problems I've found so far with portrait modes are in some apps. For example, the camera app doesn't work very well on portrait. And you just open the keyboard and it should be fine. The next app that doesn't work very well is the MIDI player, since it just gets cut in the menu. Also, within the within the, the video, the, the music and videos, the player doesn't work very well again. But still, if you open your keyboard, you have landscape again. And the third final problem I got with apps was in the messaging. When you have really long messages or you just want to see the time and date, you have to scroll right. Once again, a problem that is solved by opening the keyboard. Well, generally, I think the Nokia CSS2 update um, by the community is a really good update. It finally lets you have your N900 on portrait. It works very well on portrait. Any problem you get, just pop up the keyboard. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.